Good afternoon everyone and welcome to this week's Act of Worship. A reminder that my name is Will and this is our gather section of the Act of Worship and the first way that we gather is by making together the sign of the cross. Let's start in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This week, our word of the week is belonging, and each week from now on, we are gonna have a different theme. These are set by our diocese, which is like the local area of churches, um, and they are the same for all of the other schools in our diocese. Each week, these themes will help us think about our faith and how we can really bring it alive in our school. And to start breaking this theme open, I'd like to quick fire right down as many groups you belong to that you can think of. Off you go. Awesome, so now that we've explored the groups that we belong to a little bit more, um, I thought we'd unpack a little bit about what belong means, because the dictionary actually has two different meanings. The first is when something or someone belongs to something. For example, um, I might own a phone and so that phone belongs to me, or we all belong to this school because we all attend or work at this school. But the second definition, which is one we're gonna be focusing on a little bit more today, is the feeling of belonging. The feeling of being loved, wanted, and valued by the group of people around you. So although the two definitions of this word are really quite intertwined, um, the difference that the second definition can make to our lives can be massive. And it actually talks about um, how we can help people feel belonged. Belonged? Is that a word? Belonged a word? Um, let's go with it. How we can help people feel belonged in our communities. This piece of scripture is taken from the letter to the Hebrews. Um, and this letter was written to a group of people who were the Hebrews, who were basically a bunch of Christians uh, living in a Jewish society. And it was really hard for them to keep their faith um, because they didn't feel like they belonged um, in their community that was around them. Um, and so these words are really important about belonging today. This is a reading from St. Paul's letter to the Hebrews. Let us be concerned for one another, to help one another to show love and to do good. Let us not give up the habit of meeting together as some are doing. Instead, let us encourage one another all the more. Let us be concerned for one another, to help one another to show love and to do good. Let us not give up the habit of meeting together as some are doing. Instead, let us encourage one another all the more. The word of the Lord. I think this piece of scripture speaks some great words of advice on how we can help people feel like they belong in our community. Helping people feel like they belong is such an amazing way to act out your life as a Christian. Because as I said last week, when people experience love, they experience God. And by helping someone feel like they belong, you are helping them experience that love. And so this week, I would like you as your form to write your top seven uh, tips for how to help people belong in our school. You should have in your form a sheet of paper, which looks like this. In this top box, I would like to write your form, name. And along the left-hand side, I would like you to write a tip to help someone feel like they belong um, that begins with the letter of each of the letters of the word belong. So for example, for B, you could have be welcoming. At the bottom though, we've also got a bonus tip. So if you think of any that don't but, um, begin with any of the B-E-L-O-N-G uh, letters, um, you can add them down there as well. When you've done these, if you'd like to either drop them into my office, which is now opposite the languages classroom, or you can drop them into the chapel. Uh, we're gonna make a display out of these um, so we can have a wall of ways to belong. But for now, I'll hand over to the form tutors and over to you guys. Awesome, so now hopefully we've got a bunch of new ways that we can help people feel like they belong. Another way we can help people like they belong is by praying for them. It's a less direct way, but when we ask God to look after them and look over them, uh, we are welcoming them into that prayer community as well. I know that prayer might be a brand new thing for some of you. Um, you might never have prayed before. You might just not have prayed for a while. Um, but my number one rule for prayer is that there are no rules. There is no right way to do it. There is no wrong way to do it. It's a completely personal thing between you and God. And so please don't be scared. You will not mess up and God will just appreciate any words that you have to share with him. In this part of an act of worship though, I'll always give you some prompts for different things that you might want to pray for, things you might want to think of. So don't be afraid and just give it a go. You never know what might happen. But before we get into that prayer, let's just take a moment to chill out. Maybe we've had a busy day um, and just rest and feel God's presence in the room. For today's prayer, we are going to be saying some short prayers for the people around us. 
We're going to start with the people in front of us, then move behind us, then go left and right. If you don't have anyone on that side of you, don't worry. Just try and think of someone new, perhaps, or someone in another class, or uh, maybe even someone who goes to another school. But let's start off with the person in front of us. Have a think. Do you know them well? Maybe you don't really know them at all. Maybe you don't even know their name. But the beauty is that God always does. And so it doesn't really matter what you say. You might say a prayer that's unique to the person because you know um, what they're up to in their life at the moment. Maybe they do a sport and they've got like the final this weekend or something like that. Or maybe you don't know them at all and you just want um, God to give them a good rest of their day. Whatever your prayer is, have that time to say that prayer now. Secondly, we're going to move to the person behind us. Exactly the same as last time. It doesn't matter if you know them very well, not at all. You might, don't even have to turn around and look at them. Just think for that person behind you. What would you like to pray for today? And finally, for the people on our left and our right. Have a think. What would you like to pray for for them today? Finally, what's really wonderful about prayer is that when we pray, it's not necessarily just us who's praying. Today, across our entire school, this act of worship is being played. And so all of our prayers from across the entire school are going to be joined together. And to mark this, in our acts of worship, we like to say a prayer all together at the end. And so today, I thought it'd be nice if we said together the school prayer. If you don't know the words, that's fine. It can be found in your planner at the beginning on a page that looks like this. Dear God, as a community, we pray together that we can feel your love and kindness through our faith today. Help us to be charitable and act justly to others. And please guide us as we remember your presence in our lives, following Blessed Robert Sutton and the Sutton Way. Amen. Nice one. Your mission for this week is to remember your seven ways to help people belong and to act them out. You've kind of given yourself your own mission um, this week. Um, but for now, I hope you have an amazing rest of your week and I will see you next week, if not in the week before then. Uh, but let's end with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. See ya!